Hello and welcome back to the Second Chance to Live channel here on YouTube. I'm happy to see that you decided to stop by to watch this video presentation. Thank you. In today's video presentation, I'd like to share the first part of a two-part article series that I wrote in follow-up to a lesson that I learned through giving a workshop at a conference in Seattle, Washington this past month. The title of the conference was Embracing Life and Living Well After Brain Injury. I want to first say that the reason why I've been able to train, I was able to train at the martial arts school that I am talk about in this article was because of the kindness of my sensei who did not charge me fees to be able to train there on a monthly basis. To read the article, I'll put my glasses back on and bring up the article. Again, this is the first part of the article, then I will make a second uh, presentation of the second part of the article here tomorrow, I believe, or in the next couple days. Here's the article title, Second Chance and the Embracing Life and Living Well After Brain Injury Conference, May 2013, A Lesson Learned, A Smoother Transition, Part 1. Hello and welcome back to the Second Chance to Live. Thank you for making the decision to stop by to visit with me. Thank you. Last week I had the opportunity to present a workshop at the Living, Embracing Life and Living Well Brain Injury Conference in Seattle, Washington. Last month I had the opportunity to travel to and be a guest speaker at the Alaska Peer Partnership Consortium, Conf Consortium Conference in Anchorage, Alaska. I am grateful for the conference committees who voted to have me come to present at a workshop. Below, both of these opportunities were awesome and provided the wisdom to learn from my experience while at the conference. At the Embracing Life and Living Well After Brain Injury Conference, I presented my workshop on Thursday afternoon between 3.45 and 5 p.m., May 23rd. On Friday morning at the breakfast while meeting and greeting people who attended my workshop, a gentleman shared with me that I might like to rethink uh, the way in which to create a better transition to introduce a section of my workshop. I have been working uh, or thinking about his suggestion for the past several days. This morning I gained some clarity to provide a smoother transition during the, this part of my presentation for future workshops. I would like to share this transition with you, my friend. What I shared during the workshop. During the, my workshop, I spoke about the various pieces of the puzzle that have made up my process, journey, and experience. My intent was to encourage, motivate, empower, and instill hope in those individuals in attendance to not give up on their process or their journey regardless of what may have happened in their life because of their brain injuries. Due to my presentation I shared about the value of learning from and through each piece of my experience. As each piece piece provides lessons and opportunities to build upon. <clears throat> Excuse me. As with much of my journey I have come up against many walls. These walls have presented me with choices Instead of giving up throughout my lifetime, I have looked for solutions. As part of my pre presentation or my workshop, I shared how my training in various martial arts has contributed to and empowered my develop, uh, development excuse me, as an individual. I did so to encourage the pursuit of neuroplasticity in attendees, and neuroplasticity is training both sides both sides of our brain to developing new neural pathways to repetitive motion and different activities we normally don't do. And what I've done through doing my training in the martial arts is that I've trained both my right and my left sides of my body so that they work more in conjunction with one another and I am more ambidextrous where I'm able to do similar things with similar power in both my right and my left hand and arm, legs and knees and elbows. 
At one point of my workshop, I share and demonstrate several skills that have been that I've been working on and developing through my training in Western boxing, Muay Thai kickboxing, Wing Chun, Ji Kune Do, and modern harness. Experience has taught me that I have had to drill each one of these skills a bazillion times to encode them into muscle memory. By staying committed to the process, I've been able to combine these skills into fluid movements. Through staying committed to working on each one of these skills, my proficiency in combining these individual skills has helped me to become more efficient as an individual and a martial art artist because I'm able to transfer the skills that I do, which has helped me to become more agile, uh, quick, and coordinated. So here is the next paragraph and the final paragraph of this part. I forget the individual's name who encouraged me to rethink this transition, but want to thank him. Thank you, sir for the suggestion. In part two of this article, I will share the backstory of why I demonstrate the various skills that I have been training in and developing through the martial arts. The backstory will provide a smoother transition. This is the end of part one of the article. I want to thank you for being here. I want to encourage you to not give up on your process yourself or a loving God because more will be revealed in time. The pieces of the puzzle will come together in the correct order and at, that, at the right time. So please do not give up. This is something that I need to remember too. I'll say so long for now. Have a great day and thank you again for your time. God bless and have a great day. So long now.